everybody, Yarn Fairy here with another last tube. How are we supposed to do that while I was dancing, right? A little worn out. Yes, you can tell. This is my buddy. My buddy hates me. I have bruises all over the place from my buddy. My buddy falls at regular intervals. <laughs> I was off of it for a while. I should back up. Nothing but chamomile tea because of, okay, my holidays. <coughs> I'm going to lose this. I'm going to have to go real short with stuff. Um, before Christmas, I wound up in the hospital from severe COVID pneumonia. And my doctor, about three weeks ago, said I was not critical not stable, but in fragile condition. I was still at home. I, oops, Barky, he needs to have his nails cut. Had my oxygen. I've got a big machine in the back that's going to. And, um, I think I'm gonna run out. Uh, severe COVID pneumonia. Because I had my oxygen, and because I was taking my pills, and because I had them, he gave me some new pills and said, Let's try to um, see if you have another bacterial infection and do another round of antibiotics. So I think it was doxycycline. Anyway, um, yeah, hmm. it's been crazy. So I was in there for about a week. I came home for five to seven days and was right back in with a severe GI bleed from all the pills that they gave me and the ones that they gave me before, I have so, I have a huge list of chronic illnesses. And so I have like umpteen hundred doctors and each one of them gives you a set of pills for whatever it is. And holy cow, <coughs> I must've been on 25 to 30 minutes. Insanity, I now have five. They cut me off of all of them in the hospital because, um, why'd they cut me off? Got a tag. Cut me off of all of that. Who knows why? I don't know why. I just know that I'm feeling better than I felt in a really, really long time. I thought little miss was back there. I can't see a thing. All I see is a blurry outline. Anyway, uh, yeah, GI bleed. That was fun. I'm still, um, I'm on, oh, in a few days, I will be six weeks post eclipse. Um, the there's an ulcer in the duodenal that will not stop bleeding. I hope it stops, but every once in a while it looks a little questionable. So that has made me properly anemic. Can you tell? <laughs> I shouldn't have put the lights on today, but I wanted you to see true color because I've been going crazy. Okay. Um, I'm going to start. Um, I was going to start. I'm going crazy. Why am I going crazy? I forgot. I'm sorry, you guys. You're going to notice there's a lot of black holes today. Um, my brains are shot because I'm off of one of my meds that I really need. <laughs> I was trying to transplant. I didn't want all of these. They're tomatoes, and I can't eat them anymore. Hopefully, I'll be able to eat them post eight weeks. Maybe three of them are going to survive. The rest of them look terrible. They're on a grow light, which I had to turn off because it's like neon. But. You guys know I got yarn. I will get to cross stitching. I promise. <laughs> That's what this is about. Anyway, none of these are available, but I just wanted to share them with you guys because they're so stinking beautiful. These are for sweaters. This is our yak blend. It's, um, I wonder if that's going to be good enough for your color work. Uh, yak, silk and cashmere, I think. You have to check that. And then this one is for uh, a sweater too. Um, a friend of mine's moving to Vermont. Vermont, I think. Um, this is Donegal Tweed. And you can see, yeah, the little flecks of color. They stay there because they're a different material than the base, which is very soft. I don't do sell anything but the very best. So. Let me just go through this stuff real quick. 
so I don't lose y'all. Isn't this pretty? This is for a contest. My contest is really stupid. It's like, what's your favorite color? That's it. All you got to do is post what's your favorite color. It's on Ravelry. You're having a hard time seeing this one too much. There we go. Isn't it pretty? Anyway, these guys are just hanging around. These are the only ones that are available if anybody wants one. Wow, the color. <gasps> so we have a sea glass, and the sea glass is mate. These are our very medium sock. This is a Pima cotton. Yep, nope. Wow. It's 50-50 cotton and silk. I wonder why it feels so soft. And this is a Surrey Cloud. I think in truffles. Oh, it is. It's truffles. And then this is what our full hanks look like for cross stitch before I get at them. I didn't know if you guys knew they were kind of green. I am going to dye something I'm calling fiber by the foot. I'm going to start with that. Um, so long as my energy, I need it. It's like, give me the energy from the leg. <laughs> Too many sci-fis. So I'm going to dye fiber by the foot. Fiber by the foot is going to be, instead of like one color, all the different variations of it, I'm going to dye like pink and watermelon and beachy coral and flamingo so that you have a bunch of different colors in your foot long baggie. And I'm going to do all the colors. Hopefully, I really want to do all my colors. Uh, why am I telling you guys this? Cross stitch. Um, yeah, you guys probably, if you were into specialty stitches, you could take a tiny bit, roll it, and stick it in a circle, and tack it down, and then make like a flower, you know? Or it could be a person's face, or, you know, a skirt hanging down, just kind of <laughs> I even have needles, if you wanted to needle felt it down instead of, I'm going to lose my voice, I have to go faster. Did I show you guys electric peacock? This is a recent color. <clears throat> I hope you can see it. That's it on silk. <clears throat> this is it when it would not set. So I had to wash the heck out of it and set it a million times. This I called Monet. That's sold. All of this stuff is sold, but I can make more, obviously, because I do. I think this one might be sold. This is also cotton. And this, you can tell, I actually got. I actually got it to set really well for cotton. And then, what are you? Oh, this is the blues. It's just one of the colors that we have up. Um, this, we had, we did a couple of cells. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, for Carolee Heavener, she made a Supernatural. And this is the Raven colorway. And this is the sky. I love, ooh. <laughs> you didn't even see the good side. Did you like it before you saw the good side? Um, I love all the little speckles. Uh, I call it pixie dust, and we can do that on anything. Um, so, this, I have so many fabrics around here, you guys. This is Haunted Mansion, another style we did. It's for Petura Farm, and Grim Grinning Ghosts is the um, group where they're doing it. Um, and because everything gets stiff, so stiff that you can like hold it up, I got this. I got, I spent over a thousand dollars, you guys. This is eight of 14, it is, um, come on. It doesn't have the sizing put in. So without sizing, which I have a hard time taking out, I'm sure everybody does, it's just miserable stuff. Uh, and different places use different things. Uh, Pernum, Perman, Perman uses uh, potato starch. You don't know, I just look here. <laughs> That's what I always say when somebody asks me something that I have no idea. I'm like, I don't know. 
just right here. Um, oh, and the other cell, we did three cells. This one is for hmm, supernatural. I think it goes that way. I've seen a lot of people use the top part first at the top, the bottom. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what I've seen, but both ways, it's very pretty. Um, I've taken this off of the site, and I've taken the Haunted Mansion off the site, but Supernatural's still up there, and it's still available. I guess I should show you these. This is the Thread Hank for Sky, and this is the one for the Raven colorway. Aren't they beautiful? I call this one Supernatural Brights, and I call this one supernatural raven brights because whatever <laughs> oh man i'm a mess and then the um i ran out of um the first stitch markers i cannot find the charms anywhere i have torn everything apart can't find them spent over 55 dollars on them they're gonna drop from the sky one day and hit me on the head right <laughs> So this is a stitch marker. Wow, that light. I'm gonna turn one of these puppies off. Okay, how's that? Not much better. <laughs> Can you see it? It's got um, Dean up here is the squirrel. And then they're forever digging graves. So the, the, the implements used for digging graves and the cane I, I, I want the knife, as we say around here. It's an Eddie Murphy thing. Oh, and then because I had to change the needle marker, everybody, that why is it? Yeah, it's a Dean's necklace. Wow, you know what? I'm done sharing colors. Oh, there's Dean's necklace. Can you tell? It's that totem thingy that he wore. Supernatural, yes, off of the TV show, yes. Oh, I actually have one. This is Driver Picks the Music. That one is for Geeky Stitches Supernatural, which comes with this fabric. If anybody wants any of these, just you guys. I'm not opening up to the world. Um, I would happily fill them for you. We have lots of kits that nobody really knows about because I'm a one-man band and stuff happens. I didn't get home from the hospital until middle of January. Oy. It's been a been a long row and for some reason it's making me feel emotional right now. There's a green piece of paper. Yay! Is there a green piece of paper? There is not a green piece of paper. I bought all this. It's 100% silk. It's like uh, super beautiful and white, of course, because I can dye anything. My daughter's getting married on July 31st. We're supposed to be making a million little flowers to go on the dress, and we're supposed to be making the dress. So that is the fabric. Did I tell you guys about this? This is amazing. See the orange name? They're Angora, okay, for starters. And that is just, uh, they look handmade to me. I don't know nothing though. So maybe they were made by a machine. They're terribly cute. You can either have fingerless, which still have fingers, or, you know, covered. I needed these desperately. You plug them in and that orange thing heats up and they're just amazing. They heat your hands so fast. I needed them because um, the anemia makes me super cold. Um, and um, I have to go outside in, you know, the freezing weather. It's really cold here. Sometimes it's sleeting and snowing and raining and blah, blah, blah. So I have gloves to do that thick, nice, non-cold gloves. Wow, black hole. <coughs> and uh, they're great. And then I have uh, galoshes to wear. They're really cute. Um, 
when I'm rinsing because the water just gets everywhere. And this is what this is for. After I come in from rinsing, this and a cup of hot cocoa or hot tea would be just smashing. I don't know why I never thought of that. Okay. Hi, baby. He's totally freaked out from the, the wind. It blows really hard here all the time. This is great tea. I think I might have gotten it off of Amazon for the first time. Um, obviously, a while ago, 2018. I still think that, you know, two years, a little bit, maybe, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's black tea and, right, black tea, hibiscus, corn flour, and calendula flour. And I don't know why, but this stuff makes one of the best sweet teas I've ever had in my life. <coughs> so I placed an order today. Finally got paid, I don't always get paid. Cross-stitch, we're supposed to be talking about cross-stitch. Okay, so color. I don't know why, but I have been searching uh, colorpalette.net, I think it is, and they have like uh, pictures and then they have the colors from the picture pulled down. And I didn't like some of them and I changed some of them, but I'm gonna be making up, sure. Uh, I don't know what color the fabric should be, but it's sand, um, turquoise, uh, blue, like a medium dark blue, not dark, but kind of on the way to it, and a golden yellow. Uh, jelly, I'm not sure what this jelly is. You see, I, I, I do this and then I keep the pictures on my desktop and then I go through and I type dye notes of all the different dyes that will achieve said color and how much of them to use and like how long of a repeat and yada yada yada. <coughs> There's this one, it's called Happy Hallway and it's like blues but then it's got like hot pink and hot orange and it's just intense and I thought how amazing would that be on a black fabric to have these hots. And I'm also thinking right now that it would be awesome to make a rainbow. Like these are one and three quarter length skeins. If I worked around in a rainbow putting colors next to each other that blend, um, so long as I didn't soggy monster it because soggy monster turns one color brown, then it could conceivably, I wonder how dark I could get that without muddy. Anyway, uh, our Trisha, oh, Teresa, whatever, um, Shannara Chronicles, the girl, the princess in there, she, there's this one picture and I was just like, bam, of her with this maroon stripe and little scarfy thing, because she's got, you know, this little corset and they're out in the cold. Um, and for some reason, the light in that picture had the black and the maroon go hot pink. And so I was like, oh yeah, and pale. So yeah, well, these notes are really limited. And then I saw a lilac on a uh, color palette and it's a bunch of lilacs in a vase with the green everywhere and it's beautiful. I need to do a green. That's what I really need to do. I need to do a forest like a fairy in a forest. So if anybody knows of a picture of a fairy in a forest, let me know. Um, heavy and silver, oh, oh, right. Um, I also wanna do some resists where you take your yarn and you uh, allow the white to stay and you put colors on top of that. And that's gonna be fun because I'm gonna try that in a pan that I have uh, on top of the stove with the two burners going. Fun! Okay, my only cross stitch. This is so pathetic. I don't have the board for you guys today because, uh, let's see. Yeah, no stitching. <laughs> Shouldn't make myself laugh. The other thing that happened at the same time, mom went down, she's nine years old, she lives with us, lived with us. She went down the night after I was ambulanced out. She goes down and she was in the hospital with me and then we had to put her into a rehab place uh, because she broke her arm 
and then she hit like the tub or something because she's got a huge gash here. So now she's with my sister uh, back east where there's 14 inches of snow. They're just getting in today. She uh, took a car. They took a car uh, back and took some of her stuff and yeah, she's gone. And I'm sad and lonely because everybody goes to work except for me. Well, I go to work, but you know, I have to turn on music or something because yeah, wow, loneliness sucks. There's the green thing. I don't remember what the green thing was. Anyway, I knew there was something. <laughs> this is terrible. Maybe I should share with you guys what I do here first because it's kind of a mess. So we have a needle minder holding my pattern, which you can't see. My uh, highlighter, because this is the way I like to do it, has a magnifying uh, a needle. A uh, dick, fill in the word. Magnet. <laughs> this is terrible. I usually go around saying, help me out because I have no words. Needles, full empty needles, and then an extra because I'm always losing something. And my scissors hang on to this one because it's a super heavy duty uh, magnet on this. If you want one of these, I have a whole bunch that I brought in. Never got a chance to post them because, hello. Sorry, notification, driving me nuts. Uh, yeah, so then I put filled needles on these two, and this is what I filled them with because I'm blind. It's made by Clover. I think I have some of these if anybody wants some. Love that thing. And then I have a bunch of these lovely little bags. And for a mono project, this is great. It's got this in here because Little Miss eats them. She loves to eat them. Don't know why, maybe I should just give her a little silicone toy. This is made by Cloak Jets, sorry. And I bought a dozen of the large size last time I bought them because she likes to eat them. <laughs> the other things that are in here is my outlining, more finger rubbers. I cannot deal without finger rubbers. I put them on both my thumbs and maybe I should put them on the index. I've never tried that. Anyway, uh, there's a center pole ball of my thread in here. If anybody wants their hanks made up into center pole balls, just let me know. <sighs> I don't know how long we've been going. 22 minutes. That's I'm really short. I usually go a lot longer, but I'm losing my voice, so I think I'm going to call it quits. Plus, I have to... It was so funny. I, I headed over to the machine because I'm trying to make the flowers for the dress and I'm trying all these different ideas. So I finish up there and I go, gee, I need to stop doing anything else. I need to ship the orders. As soon as I get the order shipped, I can do this, right? Didn't work that way because if I was to pack up the orders, you wouldn't have got to see all the yarn. Oh no! I just realized you guys aren't getting to see some bonnet so She's up in a closet somewhere and I can't even begin to dig through that. I'm still really weak and fatigued from being a long hauler. Go figure. They're running more tests. <clears throat> I just haven't had the strength to go down there. Plus I'm in a lot of pain and I was hoping that some of it would alleviate, but meh. Um, I see my uh, ophthalmology cornea specialist for the disease in my eye on Friday, so I'm just going to try to do the tests then. And yeah, <laughs> there's the the uh, immunology specialist. There's the GI and the BCP, and I just wrote to the podiatrist last night. These guys have all set up tests for me, so it's going to be fun. At least I don't have some of those harder tests that aren't nice that you have to take home and... <laughs> okay. Now I'm starting to hurt, so I better go. It's funny how I can just sit here and entertain you, and it entertains me. I just love it. I just wish I was on a schedule, you know, like once a week would be nice. But I'm afraid I would have to probably not work and be 100% healthy to do once a week. We can hope. <laughs> you can pray or send in good vibes or whatever it is that we do. Like my pants, aren't they cool? 
I like my pants. I just recently got uh, leggings that are um, out of space rainbow. They're on Amazon, my favorite place to shop. Man, that place will kill you. <laughs> okay, bye.